Oh my god, she was actually his chicken baby. <laughs> Hi guys, thanks for clicking on my video. So, and today I wanted to do a let's play with my favorite Sim family. So, um, first of all, so I wanted to give you um, the story of everything that's happened so far so that you can understand the family. So, this Sim here is Teresa Bailey. <laughs> oh, she got married, sister. So her last name now is now Gail. But yeah, she was originally Teresa Bailey. I mean, I don't even remember what was her original last name before she got married before this. But that's let's start with it. Let's start from the very start. So. She was this young girl living on a farm. She had a nice beautiful farmhouse and she met this famous guy. So she was she wanted to be an actress. She was an aspiring actress. So she just um you know, she hadn't even started working at that time. But she wanted to become an actress, so she met this guy, this nice guy that she liked, and she got along so good with him. So, this guy was Tyrone Bailey. Twin Bailey, oh my god. I'm even pronouncing his name in Kai. This guy was Twin Bailey. So she met him and she was like, okay, let's he asked her out and like so nice, whatever. So they started going on dates and she enjoyed her time with him. So he proposed, right? He proposed to her and she was like, okay, we've been going out for quite some time now. And I really like this guy, so I'm going to accept his proposal. So she did exactly that. She accepted his proposal. I went so far in the story. Let me tell you something. I just saw um her should a baby trait. And then I just remember that oh my god, she was actually his chicken baby. <laughs> yeah, and they were like going out for some time and then they were sugaring, right? And then it kind of got serious and then they started dating. Mm -hmm. And then he asked to be her boyfriend and she was like, yes. So they started going out and all of that. They were official. And then he decided that, okay, I know this girl, so I'm proposed. She accepted this proposal. But also, let me give you some tea. When he proposed to her, he was married, but she didn't know that. Right? So she just accepted the proposal because this guy was a very nice guy. She liked him and all, so she definitely accepted. Anyways, they got married soon after. They actually eloped. Because he was like, oh my god, I can't be bothered with planning a wedding or whatever. I just want to get married with you immediately. So, they did get married immediately. And she was like, oh my god, okay. She was submitting with him, okay? So, she was like, okay, we can do that. So, they eloped. They did just that. They eloped. And then it was time for her to move in. So she moved in with him. <laughs> he had just divorced his wife. 
just before we got married that diversity and the be the worst is otherwise. So better to live in the same house. So when she moved in, she actually moved in with him. It's his wife and his child, okay? So he was like telling her that oh my god, I'm so sorry about this. But we got the first and she's in the process of moving out. <laughs> yeah, right. She was in the process of moving out. Okay. She was like, okay, um, I kind of believe you, but I kind of don't. But as I said before, she was submitting with him. She was like, anything this guy said, like, she would roll with it. Okay. But anyways, she got pregnant, <laughs> and like she announced her pregnancy and all to her friends, all of us. She told them was, she was pregnant, and it was so excited. So soon afterwards, by the way, by the way, the guy hasn't the the wife, the ex-wife, <laughs> hasn't moved out yet, right? But guess what? Here's the tea. She was also pregnant. <laughs> Can you believe that she was pregnant? And guess who was the father? Just guess who was the father. Okay. Okay. I don't even know why the ex-wife got herself in that situation. I said they said the first year I'd married someone else. But anyways. She. They were both pregnant. Like this guy did them dirty so she was like okay um i really don't have anywhere to stay right now or whatever so she decided that i'm gonna pursue my dream of acting so she started uh, a acting career and then she started streaming so she also got a little bit famous a little bit quicker okay so she would stream like daily and talk about your life and stuff and she had set up a go fund to me so she got a little cash so she could move out so she didn't actually move out until after she gave birth like she gave birth today and Octavia gave birth the next day okay so let me show you let me show you let me show you I don't even have pictures of baby Lexi to show you guys but so this is Lexi right here that's Lexi my daughter my daughter my goddaughter so she's still my daughter oh my god this is Tamika that's Octavia's second child okay he has recently adopted a child and he told me about it and I was like okay he even invited me to come and meet the child no sorry no 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 we weren't going to go meet the child excuse me mm -hmm. so anyway she after she gave birth she literally divorced him and moved out she bought a plot of land and it was just this big land it was empty there was nothing on it and so she decided that she was going she built a room and a bathroom and she had a little bit of things and she was like fine okay so she continued working and streaming and all she got famous and all she accumulated the funds so now she could have built this wonderful so she decided to expand she got this these right she got the living room the dining room the kitchen she got all of that and then she could have built an extra bathroom and an extra room for her little daughter Lexi so let me show you guys Lexi when she was small so I got some pictures because she was such a cutie Okay, so let 
This is little Lexi. She was so cute. So that's her. Yeah, I just had to take so many pictures of her. So when they moved in, they like took a lot of pictures and stuff. So I just put some up on here. Yeah, got them on my wall. So that was little Lexi. And then. This girl, like, I don't know what the hell was wrong with her, but let's, let me tell you what happened next, okay? So, after she moved there, it was almost Christmas, <laughs> and she got her house done, like, just right before Christmas, and then she was like, okay, we're gonna have a wonderful Christmas, so she took time, well, she didn't even... I have to work on Christmas, so she didn't have to take her off. So, <laughs> yeah, so Christmas came right around. Guess who showed up at about 11? Was that the time? I think. I don't even remember what time he shows up. <laughs> but guess who showed up? This guy showed up. <laughs> Yeah, this guy showed up, okay? Mm -hmm. This guy showed up. So, he came and I don't know what's wrong with the sim, but it's like everybody she meets, like the romantic part just starts going up. You can see like the amount of people in here that she just starts talking to them and the romance bar starts going up for no reason at all. It just starts going up. Okay? Then they're just having random conversations, saying hi. And then I turn my back for a second and they're romancing like uh so anyway, she and Clement. Is that his name? I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, Clement. Mm-hmm. So, I turned my back for a few seconds and all of a sudden, they were going at it. Like, what? Like, why were you doing that? I don't even know why she did that. But anyways, a day later, she found out she was getting sick. She was throwing up and all and she was like, Okay, I don't think I'm pregnant though because in my first pregnancy I didn't even have morning sickness or anything like that so maybe I just ate something bad last night or whatever. So she was like throwing up and stuff so she took a pregnancy test and she found out she was pregnant. Okay, she found out she was pregnant and again. So she was pregnant with Allison, right? So Allison is a preteen now. So she kept pregnant with Allison. So Lexi was still just a little baby. No, Lexi was a toddler. Mm -hmm. So anyway, she had Allison and whatever, and she was like, "Okay, I'm not up for the room, um, the romance anymore." But anyways. She met a friend. She met this wonderful girl. Um, yeah, she met this wonderful girl, Alicia, and she went to their home and they had nice conversations and stuff. But what she didn't know was that Alicia and her husband Stephen were in a open marriage actually an open poly relationship so when she visited she got the shock of her life because these two are living with two of other females their partners their girlfriends okay so they were living with them so they were like okay I mean it's fine so let me show you the other, the other partners. So, 
um, Miss Finance. So this, this is one of them. My name is Barbie Mouse. And then, um, where's the other one? I think she's a redhead. Oh yeah, Nina. So, they were living together. And anyways, Stefan was like making moves on her and I was like okay 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 I was like oh my god he's attractive and I might try this out so they invited her for a little fun time with them both of them the husband and the wife so anyways guess what happened she got knocked off again <laughs> she's like so fertile and she refuses to go and break control so it's like oh my god that happens again and she's like okay let's do this so next up she had Kira so as you can see this is her father okay that's her stepmom but anyways look at this so these are his children and he only has one of them with the wife. Okay? So let's see. So this is with Barbie. Oh no, this one. Hold on. Yeah, this one is for Barbie. Uh that's Barbie's child. Who's the father for that child? This, this is Barbie's child. I can't, like, it, it's just getting a bit complicated, like. Okay, this is the other girlfriend. <coughs> That's Nina. Oh, I forgot. She's actually married to him. Well, he's married to her. So, like, they, they, they're just in a... They're just married. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, that was that. And then she was like, okay, I don't think I'll fit into this type of relationship. And she was like, okay, I'm going to leave. And then she was single and loving it, okay? All the while, she was loving up her career, let me tell you. She was becoming very famous and... She was completing her aspiration. I was so good. I loved her for it. Like she did her best to provide for her children. She loved them though. Despite what happened before. Anyway, she was single and loving it then. All of a sudden this lady came along. She was young and beautiful. So let, let, let's see <laughs> how she's sleeping. I'm not even going to go into a bed to show you her. So she met this wonderful lady, okay? She met her. And they fell in love. But she decided that, okay, this time I'm not going to um, just rush into a relationship and do anything or whatever. So they took it slow, but they were in love. But they took it slow. So they started going on dates and stuff and saying if it would actually work out and if they were actually compatible with each other. And then they realized that, oh, this might work and stuff. So after a while, they decided to go official. So that was a girlfriend. And then she realized that, oh my God, I can't add my feelings anymore. Like, this girl is my soulmate. She's definitely my soulmate, and I don't want to lose her. I need to keep her close. So, she proposed. And that's just a little story of them. So, that's her. So, they're soulmates. Yeah, they're best friends. They're married. So, yeah. Uh, there's no sentiments now. Okay, don't mind her career. She she's actually she's a nice person. She's very nice. She's like 
she's like one of the best persons. Don't, don't mind this. Don't, don't mind this at all, at all, at all, at all. She's a wonderful person. <laughs> but anyways, so they got married and all, and she moved in. And then soon after, she got pregnant with this beautiful little girl, Maria. Look at her, she's so cute. Oh my god, look at her. Oh, just look at her. She's so cute. Look at her beautiful little girl. Okay, so she's sad. I'm gonna actually send her to bed. Oh my, she needs so many things right now. I need her down. So yeah, go ask mommy for something to eat. Okay, so. They had her, and you know, that's basically the story of Miss Risa here. So, let me introduce you to everybody now. Alright, let's just go into their skin profile. So, you can see them better instead of just being like that. Or maybe I could open this and show you them all there. I could do that. Yeah, that, that seems easier, actually. So, we'll just start to shoot them in case. So, this is my Teresa girl. Okay, she's so beautiful. I love her. She's like my favorite sim, honestly. I think she is. Like, this is my favorite sim family that I've created. So, and this is... And this is Anika. Okay, she's in her sleepwear. And she needs to shave her legs, but yeah, I'm saying that. Okay, so, so that's her. So that's her, and this is Lexi. Like, I love Lexi. Like, if I was doing a legacy challenge, I would have, Lexi would have been my hair. Okay, she is just perfect. I love her. Like, I don't know why I love her so much. But like, she is like the perfect little sim. And then this is Allison. Also, I think if you look at the three last girls' name, like Allison, Kira, and Malia, you would see the reference from <laughs> where. I got those things because I actually love that show. I hated the movie though, but I love the show. So this is Allison. I got love her. She's also beautiful. And then this is Kira. Okay, she's also in her sleepwear. Let's show you over there. Okay, so she's a cutie. And then. Oh yeah, show the other thing. Okay. So this is Malia. Malia is just like so cute. Look at her. She is cute. I love her. And she looks like her mom. She got her mom's hair. Like she got the nice red hair. But um I think her facial features are kind of a mix between both of them. But like she's so cute, I love her. I just look at her. Oh, she's a little cutie. But like Lexi, I'm telling you, like, I just love her. I think I'm going to continue this next day as the Bailey family. Yeah, they are the Bailey family. I'm going to change back. I should I just continue to be a family because they are now girls? <coughs> and change um, Malia's last name to Bailey because I was going to change back Teresa's last name to Bailey and also Anika was going to change her last name to Bailey because I actually like Bailey. But we'll see about that. Yeah, we're going to change it to Bailey.
So, we're gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna do Teddy stuff. Oh my god. Really? So, that's not Teddy so really. Um, so... Anika Bailey. So, that was the boy's family. So, I think I'll continue this let's play with the Bailey family and I basically show you um their life. I'm going to do a thing in their life basically next time. So I'm going to be showing you like how they live like on a daily basis and stuff like that. And also I might show you guys when Lexi um leaves for college because she's almost finished her high school now. So she'll be moving soon. She'll be going to college soon. So I think I'm going to continue playing with Lexi when she moves to college. And then we'll see where it goes from there. Okay guys, so that's basically the story of Teresa Bailey. So, I'm going to leave this episode right here. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for making it this far. Also, see you in the next episode. Bye guys.